This is absolutely the coolest music box I have ever seen because it is a music box, right? Yes, yes, this is a musical disc changer. So this is a music box, but it doesn't work with a cylinder, it works with a disc. Now, these disc changers, uh, you would find these in a restaurant or in a cafe, but also in a train station. If you were waiting for the train and you were bored, you could choose a song yourself by moving this bar. Oh, wow. And then throw in a penny and it would start playing for you. It's like a jukebox. It is like a jukebox. The first time I visited the Spielkock Museum, my brain caught fire. On that very day, the idea to build a mechanical instrument took form. 16 months later, we released the Marble Machine video. The Marble Machine was a viral success, but a mechanical failure. So we started to build the much more engineered and improved Marble Machine X. This meant retirement for the first machine. I asked Spielklok if they were interested and the perfect circle was completed when the marble machine was exhibitioned at the very place that gave me the inspiration to build it. When I was back at the Spielklok to install the machine, I was again amazed by the mind-blowing mechanical masterpieces there. In this series, I want to share that experience and show you some of my favorite music instruments from the collection of the Spielklok Museum. In this episode, we're looking at the polyphone disc changing music box, a coin operated instrument that later evolved into the jukebox. I've got a small disc here, this would be for a small disc changer. Wow. Uh, and you can see that there are pins here. Yeah. So there are holes, but the holes aren't the music, the pins that come out of the holes are the music. Okay. Now the reason that there are holes in there is because they press them. So they push the material from the holes into the pins, so to speak. Yeah. You could press them and you could reproduce them really quickly. Okay. So these were extremely cheap to make because the metal is really cheap. That's the same material that they make cans from, okay. <laughs> like canned food. One of the nicest things about it is that it's got two musical combs. Yeah. That's because you've got all the notes played twice at the same time. Yeah. But because they're tuned not exactly the same, there's like a few hertz uh, of difference, you get this vibration in the tones, this natural vibration. Yeah, because on the music box I use, it's only one comb. Yeah. And uh, I can imagine that the sound gets much more lush if you have two E notes playing yeah. Simultaneously. Yeah, it gets more human, more musically, more like it's actually singing. Yeah. Isn't that also what they used on the Nintendo Entertainment 8-bit system? Because they had very few sound sources and they took like, play the melody twice and detuned yeah. one of the melodies yeah, 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 to yeah, get yeah, this yeah. cool uh, sound. <laughs> Let me illustrate what I'm talking about here. First we're going to listen to one music box playing by itself. Now we're adding a second music box that play exactly the same. That only made the volume louder, so now we're gonna detune the second music box and listen to them both at the same time again. So did you hear that vibrato? The polyphon music box uses the exact same effect by having double musical comps as a sound source. Uh, one question, yeah, wouldn't sure. the outside of the disc go much faster than, than the yeah. inside of the disc? Yeah, so the outside goes much faster, so the time resolution is much bigger there. Yeah. So you can have more notes follow each other up. Yeah. On the inside you usually have the bass parts, because you only have a few bass notes. And sometimes you can even hear that they're a bit out of time, because they punch them like a millimeter to the to the to the left or to the right. Of course, it makes sense musically because you will play doom, doom, very much fewer notes yeah. on the bass. And I think what 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 I couldn't grasp first is like how the holes uh, the pins place the music. But it has a star wheel, yeah. so it's like a round thing with five points, yeah. and one of the points interacts with the disc, and two of the other points interact with the metal tongues. Yeah. The Polyphon is a disc-changing music box built around 1900 in Leipzig, Germany. 
It was advertised towards cafes and bars who could rent the music box to attract customers. From the 1930s and with the spread of recording technologies, the polyphone was slowly replaced by the jukebox. The first jukeboxes were actually directly inspired by the disc changing music boxes. Uh, funny story about this one is that it needs a penny. Okay. Now it needs a very old penny like this. For a special occasion you can throw in a real penny uh, if you want to. And we're gonna we're gonna play a song on here. In the next episode, we're taking a look at another mechanical masterpiece. Thanks to our friends at Spielkopf Museum, and thanks to you for watching.